this is the revelation I don't even want to hear, but this is what I believe God's showing me. This is what I'd be having an issue with God about. So God, what the devil intends for evil, God can use for good. So God can work out something that is evil into his good purpose. It's good for him to do so. See, my flesh gets envious of that ability. And then it's provoked to just want to do evil. See, man wants to do evil just to do evil. God can work evil out to his good, which looks like he's doing evil or using evil. And he is, but he's all the way knowledgeable, all-knowing. He, he knows how to work that out for good, whereas man will stop right at evil and just stay evil and just be like, uh, <laughs> you know, just getting off on evilness. Man doesn't know how to work it for the good. You know, I, I suppose maybe uh, cops do or they're trained, you know. But, see, corruption comes in and can make people just bound to evil moves. Desire for evil, envy of evil. Then there's this other revelation. You know, it's hard for me to even say that stuff because I have some... I want to argue about it, but this other revelation is... Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So it's not about him not getting revenge and vengeance and stuff. He does. And the reason why it's like vengeance is mine is morning is because for you to operate in your style would bring no glory. Your vengeance, your revenge is going to be weak compared to his. So you want him to get the revenge, him to get the vengeance, and then you can revel and marvel in his vengeance that he gets on your behalf because ours is not going to be glorious. That's the revelation. So hallelujah. Praise Jesus. My sheep know my voice.